Hi, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. In this video, I would like to talk about the idea of a matrix for linear transformation. Okay, so the idea is uh, simple. Well, let's say, so based on this theorem here, um, I'm just going to reiterate the process. What happens is, let's say you have this given vector. So this is your input. You can think about it as your input. And um, you have a um, sort of transformation function given by t. And you want to know what is the result here. So what is your, your image or the result of applying this input into the function. So when you apply the input to the function, the image here can be easily obtained if you consider a matrix A multiplied with the input. So vector x here is the input. So what is matrix A? Matrix A is called the matrix transformation that is used in this um, transformation process where you transform um, this vector space to another vector space. So notice that it can be different dimension. Mm. And therefore, you can find the result or the image of it using this simple idea of multiplying matrix A with the input vector. And it is a linear transformation. And for that, I'm just going to explain a simple proof related to this uh, idea here. Okay. Well, um, so remember what is uh, the idea of linear transformation, which we have seen in the previous video. Well, it says that it preserves uh, the vectors addition and also the scalar multiplication. And what it means really is that if you have two vectors together and they become an input for this particular function, the result will be uh, as such. So you can get the results um, equal to each other. Either you do this addition process and then get the transformation or you do them separately, the answer should be the same. And that is the first condition. The second condition is if you have a um, scalar. So C here is a scalar multiplied with a vector. And this is equal to uh, C times with this result of transformation with input vector U. And that is something that we already have seen in the previous video. So these two ideas here will be carried forward to, to explain that this process here also is a linear transformation. Okay, so how do we start off? Now, um, in this particular example here, the transformation is uh, basically given a new notation. So we have TA. So that here represents the transformation function. And uh, so for the first condition, okay, we're going to try and look at the first condition. Imagine you have two vectors here we have one vector in the vector space but right now because we need to prove the first condition it requires us to have two vectors so let's say we have this one here vector u plus vector v so we follow this idea from the left hand side and based on this we know that uh, this is equal to what's the result of this is going to be a times the input given here and the input given here is vector u plus vector v right so that is the input we follow the rule given here the rule says if you give input such as x to this function the result is a times this vector x therefore if i give the input as vector u plus vector v Therefore, the result has to be matrix A times with the input, which is vector U plus vector V, right? And based on that, we know that you can consider uh, separating the process. So we have A dot U and A dot vector V. So what is A dot U? A dot U is simply uh, applying vector input u into this transformation function 
look okay you see the rule okay we, if you are not sure you have to go back to this rule so this is the standard rule you can see when you have whatever input x it becomes ax so here i have au that means u here is the input and it is supplied to this fun transformation function so here becomes this guy okay and uh, similarly for this one it will be t with input v and so we have proven the left hand side is equal to the right hand side so that is the first condition that we are able to prove mm. next is the second condition which i'm just going to use this space right here <clears throat> here we have t okay don't worry too much about this subscript a it's just a transformation function the whole thing is transformation function defined as such we have c vector u so what is the result when you when you have this input the result is going to be according to the rule is a times the input so the input is this guy so a times this input the, the whole thing here and of course um when you have a dot c dot u vector u um we can switch the position of c and a so it becomes c dot a dot vector u and this becomes c dot transformation function when you apply vector u inside so you can see uh, the right the left hand side here which is this one is equal to the right hand side and because of that well what you can see is um, you can make conclusion which is you can say that uh, ta here is a linear transformation okay so that is just a simple proof to show that <clears throat> this is a linear transformation yeah now here here is an import important theorem well let's say t here is the uh, linear transformation it transforms this vector space to another vector space then um, we can find the transformation matrix which is called a so a here is the m by n matrix and it is defined as such so this is uh, when you see this that means this is the input e, e1 here vector e1 here is the input when it is given to the transformation function it is given to function t you will have the result so the whole thing here is the result which is an image basically yeah well e2 here factor here is also the input and uh, this one is also input and in particular the input here all of this must be the standard basis for the particular vector space rn so when you apply the result of all this it becomes matrix a so here is the first column second column and third column and the combination of all this uh, result of transformation function here becomes matrix a and matrix a is known as the standard matrix of linear transformation well i think uh, in order to really understand what's going on here i think we should just jump straight into the whole example okay so here is the example to explain what is given uh, in this theorem well here is a linear transformation t here is the linear transformation it transforms uh, actually this is um, vector space which is uh, 3 to 3 so this is supposed to be 3 yes or 3 okay Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm sorry. This is actually right. Correct. This is all two. Sorry, sorry, sorry. This is all two. Okay. How do I know it is all two? Well, because here the input is 
two dimension and but then the result here is three dimension so this is correct so it transforms uh, from vector space with two dimension with to three dimension and here is the the standard basis even though it doesn't say you should know that this must be one and zero okay two by two okay so here is one and zero uh, sorry not two by two but what, what I'm trying to say is if you have uh, two components this is one and zero for this one it must be zero and and one so these are the input given to this particular transformation function t and the result is three two one and so on so notice that it doesn't give you any function like for example this one here it gives you the the rule to calculate so you have to take x and then here is 2x minus y and so on in this example you have a specific rule to calculate but for this one here um, there is no rule uh, there is no process you 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 don't know how to turn this into a uh, an image you don't know what is the result of this therefore um, when you find yourself in this uh, position and you know that these are the standard basis which becomes the input okay to this particular transformation function therefore you can apply this theorem so because this is given here as a standard basis all right um now to do that well you need to find a standard matrix a first and the standard matrix of a is the combination of the first position here which is three two one this is the first column and the second column comes from this so this is the result when you give input of standard uh, vector here okay the result is this one so 4 0 negative 1 this is a which is the standard matrix of linear transformation we're done with the first question next find what's the value of this guy so remember according to the theorem it says if you have vector x and then you have some sort of transformation function that you don't know what it is and you can find the result here which is the image by uh, putting the input of x bar into this transformation function this is vector x and uh, the image can be found if you consider matrix a multiplied with that given vector so here is like vector x and you are asked to find what is what is t of vector x the input here is vector x according to the formula it will be a times with the vector itself therefore therefore t with this vector 2 negative 3 now here it becomes uh, matrix a is 3 2 1 4 0 negative 1 so here will be multiplied with 2 negative 3 and the result here is going to be well for the first position here we shall consider the first row and the first column the only column really so 6 minus 12 is negative 6 next is this second column with this as well so here we have four zero okay and finally this one with this guy so two plus three this is five and so this is the image this is the result when you apply this input so this input here will give the result as such so this input is from vector space of two dimension and the result here is um, a vector with um, three dimension okay 
Okay, I think that's all for now. And in the next video, I will continue with more examples related to um, linear transformation and um, how to find the result when you are given basis. Okay, see you then.